This summer at the REU program at the Chicago Botanic Gardens, I worked on a project assessing the impact the volume of water a plant receives has on its herbivores. Global climate change has been altering precipitation patterns resulting in more extreme weather conditions like droughts and floods. These have become more intense and persistent, creating a more stressful environment for plants. Receiving minimal amounts of water or excessive amounts can have a negative impact on a plant's ability to grow and reproduce and in turn impact its relationship with herbivores and pollinators. The study species shown here were Enothera harringtonii and evening primrose and Hylis lineata neonates which grow into a white-lined sink moth. Growth assays were conducted to assess the impact of water on their relationship. Plants received six different water treatments, shown here. My hypotheses predicted that neonates feeding on the plants that received the least water would have the lowest survivorship, growth, consumption, and efficiency of digestion. Weights of leaves and neonates was collected three times throughout the process for analysis. With the data I collected, I found that neonates feeding on the plants that received the least water had significantly higher growth rates compared to those feeding on plants that received the most water. This was also true for the efficiency of conversion of digested food. However, neonates feeding on plants that received the least water had significantly lower consumption rates and lower survivorship. And so my results showed that drought does have an impact on plant herbivore relationships. And as climate change continues to alter precipitation patterns, studies like this become increasingly important in order to better understand and predict how plants and animals will be impacted in the future.